Greetings, family. It's showtime at the Apollo. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome back to Travel with Tay Tay. Let me just make this a full screen. Happy Mother's Day. You know, honestly, you all, I honestly, I don't expect people to join because it's Mother's Day, right? Happy Mother's Day. Happy, 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 happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there, whether it's, whether you are a biological mother or not, even the dog moms like myself, right? <laughs> Shoot, Stella is a permanent toddler and at least your children will grow up. But I hope you all enjoyed your day. I don't know if you all can hear me because I have the fan on. I refuse to cut my air conditioner on. It is too early, but it is a little hot in here. Hot in here. I did my Billy Blanks today. I miss Zumba, but I did my Billy Blanks this morning. So, y'all, he kicked my butt. Oh, my God. So, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Because you could be anywhere else right now, but you chose to chill with Tay Tay while I expose our Kathy, well, a little bit more. This woman has done so much that um, it's like with our former president that was in office, how Saturday Night Live was able to have uh, content and jokes for forever. Mm-hmm. That's how it is with our Kathy. Hi, DS. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so happy, you know, for my moderators. I only have two, but thank God for you all. DS is one of them. We appreciate you. So if DS kicks you out, it's because you needed to be kicked out. <laughs> but let's get into this, you all. I have set my timer. I know Tay Tay said before, I'm not doing a four hour live. Uh uh. I'm really not. I set my timer. Wait. Wait, I think I started to set my timer and I never did. Yeah. Y'all see my little iPod? Just the only Apple product I have. Okay, so let me set my alarm. Because I do not want to keep you all longer than... Jesus is hot. It is getting hot out here. Oh, my God. I hope that that doesn't mean that we're going to have a hot, hot summer. But let me get my fan because this is not going to work. It is super hot. And we don't normally have too much humidity here. But um, also, I have these lights on. So I guess that's not helping either. I don't get a lot of natural light in my home. So... I have to use lights and lamps, and I don't like that at all. For a little Africa back with me. No, it is hot. Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Mormons. Am I having a private summer moment? Who knows? I'm not a spring chicken anymore, so it could be. I have... So I always have my towels over there in a basket and that's for me working out, but yeah, it's hot. All right. So let's get into this family. I'm going to try to keep an eye out on the time and keep an eye out on this daggone mic. <laughs> so in another video, I will be explaining to you all what I use on my hair because I know if you all have followed me when I was in the Gambia, you know, my hair was popping when I first got there, right? And then I let a Nigerian um, salon do my hair. And all they were doing was this, right? A wash and a two-strand twist. Thanks to Nima Dia for referring me to them. And they took my hair out. Y'all probably saw it, but... I will be showing you all exactly what products I use on my hair because my hair is growing like crazy. Hi, Miss Miriam. Happy Mother's Day, lovely. All right, y'all. So let's get down into this. 
like I said, what R. Kathy has done, this woman has done so much that it's not even funny anymore. It's really not. Thank you. Goodwill. Five dollars. Yes. And this one had the tag on it. <laughs> so it's brand new. I like living places where people have um shopping problems because boy, I can get a discount. You know, I don't like spending more than five, 10, 15, 20 dollars on a dress. That's it. So quick reminder, you all, tomorrow, 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 for all of you all who want to learn well off, who want to start slow, I'm not just going to come in, you know, just, I, it's the introduction to well off, okay? <laughs> so if you all haven't purchased your ticket, it is free. So make sure you head over to Eventbrite or go to my website, which it will be in the description box once this is up. Once I'm done, I'm gonna put the description. I'm, I'm going to put my website um, in the description box and Eventbrite as well in the description box. So tomorrow at 3 p.m. So we have less than 24 hours. We have at least 23 hours before Tay Tay is right back in front of you all, just not here like this, but in Zoom to teach you all a little wall off. Right? I'm really excited about that. So the first class is free. The second class is $5 with the fees. I said I was going to try to get it to down to $5 even, but Eventbrite has fees. It's like $7 and some change. But y'all, we spend more than that on food. If you want to learn well off, I think it will be good for you to invest in yourself. Um, the videos, whether no one signs up, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to teach these classes and these classes, the introduction to well off because it's free, it will be on my YouTube channel, right? Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow or I'm going to record it. So either tomorrow or the next day, right? So you all can see it. The 15th is lesson one. That one is not going to be on YouTube for free. If it will be on my website after it's done, it will be $5 with whatever tax. If you want it, then you will get the link. It will be on YouTube. Y'all just won't see it. It will be unlisted until people pay for it, right? Um, I lost enough, a, a lot of money. And I mean, I would like to try to get some money back, but I don't do anything for free. If I have to take time out, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say I don't do anything for free because I do. But if I have to take time out to create lesson plans, then yes, I'm going to charge for them. Yeah. So um, if you want to join, make sure you head over to Eventbrite and lock your place in because there are only a certain amount of spots left because I need to keep it small. So that way I can have a uh, personal interaction with each person and each person can get what they need and um, for their lesson, right? Okay, so that is that. Thank you in advance for your support and a big bit elect which means see you tomorrow to the ticket holders. Yes, be elect. Elect means tomorrow. Also, um, Wednesday, like I said, Wednesday, May 15th is part two, right, of the Wolof series. Now, when I do the Wolof series, I'm always going to do, <laughs> look at that. I love you, DS. So when I do the Wolof series, I do, um, Oh, DS, can you put uh, the events for the website uh, there as well for my website? Um, so on Wednesday, two things I want to remind you about on Wednesday. So I told you about the part two of the series. That's on Wednesday. And that is part two. So that one's $5. The uh, first one is free. The introduction is free. And then also, y'all, May 15th at 1030 a.m. Gambian time, which means Greenwich Mean Time. I don't know what that stands for, but well, I mean, I, that is what that stands for, but I think that's some British type stuff. But Gambian time, 1030 a.m. is the next court date for my robbery. Yes. So if you are in Bundung, I know they're like, people are like, why is she so happy about court? Because it's been a long time coming and these ninjas need to be held accountable for their actions. So Tay Tay can move on with her life and put them bumps behind me day, right? So 
It's the next court date for my robbery. If you're in the Bundung area, Bundung, B-U-N-D-U-N-G area, then stop by the magistrate courthouse to see the next witness take the stand and maybe they will be cross-examined. May 15th, 10.30 a.m. And if you're just nosy, just go in there. Represent for this American. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So let's add this to the stage. I want this big, big. There we go. Do I want it this one? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So you all, this is what this video is about. If you're coming in, make sure you click that like button. And also, I did not say this. Um, if you choose to donate, let me let me run this back. Like I said, tomorrow's a webinar for introduction to wall off. It's at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's my time, right? Mine's almost the last time. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m. Gambian Standard Time. It's only a 40 minute class. And if you choose to donate, please uh, visit my website in the description box. And it also has a spot for you to donate. So say, cause someone said in the comments, you should have something for people to donate this, that, and the third for your efforts. So thank God my sister-in-law did put the event. So if you go to my website, like I said, I'll put the description in the descri description box. If you go to my website and you click on events, then you will see at the bottom, you see March 13th, uh, May 13th, May 15th. And then at the bottom, you will see where to donate. Okay. I just wanted to let you all know that you could donate $1, $2, $5, $10, $20, customize your uh, uh, donation, right? All donations are appreciated. And um, thank you for those who will be joining tomorrow and for those who want to join. All right, so now let's get into this. Here is another Art Kathy scam. Y'all, this woman, I can't. There isn't any shame in this woman's game, y'all. She'll go to any length to get what she wants. But is she using Juju? Is Art Kathy using Juju to accomplish? what she's accomplishing, especially with Brandon. Because we know her businesses are not going anywhere, right? Because it's a scam. Did she use Juju to get Brandon to do what she wants? Thank you so much. So during my one of my workouts, this was confirmation. Oh, that went really fast. During one of my workouts, I saw this. <laughs> this was totally confirmation. God telling me, do this video, do this video. Now, it says 23 juju. That 23 is going, just keep that 23 in your mind because you're going to see that 23 again. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay. This was on someone's car. All right. So let's look at our Kathy's home wrecking ways and if she's committing a crime with Brandon now, y'all. Now I say now, because you remember when she first met Brandon here, he was not married. So per the dates, per the dates, it looks like I was correct. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I have to take notes while I do this. But per the dates, it looks like I was correct. Because what I want to do is I want to put in, um, this is at 14 minutes. I want to put in the link that I show about our Kathy losing her man, right? So I told you all that it looks like Brandon dated this beautiful sister and then they broke up, right? Now, I didn't know what exactly what was going on. I was just going by the dates, but it looks like I was right. So it looks like our, um, Brandon was dating this beautiful sister here. Look at her, right? She, it, first of all, Peter Pan, Peter scamming Pan, Peter Pan, Art Kathy, you ain't got nothing on her sister. You could try to wear braids. It seems like Art Kathy is like, no disrespect to um, the sisters from the Fuji 
what's her name? Lauren Hill. No disrespect to her. But there are some things that were said about her where they were like, she, because I always thought she was Haitian growing up. She's not Haitian. So they were saying that when it comes to a man that she would re reinvent herself to be what that man wants her to be. And I said that that's the only reference that I'm using with R. Kathy with Lauren Hill, right? But I said that because R. Kathy, when she first went to the Gambia, she read, oh, natural, natural, natural. As soon as she got slapped back to Macon, Georgia, she had on a wig. Y'all, she did a video. She drinking something with a bonnet on her head talking about something, what's happening in the Gambia. Lady, what you mean what's happening in the Gambia? You the one started all this SHRT in the Gambia. Talk about some what's happened. What's up, Des? That's a new name I just saw. What's goody? So, um, you know, now she wearing a bonnet and a wig. I can't, right? And I'm talking about our Kathy, not this beautiful sister here. Now, this is Brandon's, <coughs> excuse me, his wife, right? At this time, she was his fiance. It looks like this was their engagement. This is on Facebook. Shout out to um, the sister because she posted it, right? So it's public. Now, this looks like this is her engagement because you're going to see some pictures where she has some flowers and then she sh she's holding her hand. You see the ring on her finger. So it looks like this was her engagement. So let me give you some numbers. 2020, our Kathy was in Gambia. She got slapped back to Macon, Georgia in 2021, right? Between 2020 and 2021, we don't know because she was trying to hide where she was, right? Being in a, behind the wall, this, that, and the third white wall. She was trying to hide where she was, but she got slapped back. So 2021, she meets Brandon, right? Now, Brandon met our Kathy, aka Streetwalker, extraordinaire. I don't even think she's good at that. <laughs> On Tinder, and they hooked up. And Art Kathy hooked on. So Art saw that Brandon was legit, right? He saw She saw that Brandon was legit. Let me run this back because I don't want to talk about Art Kathy with this beautiful, not this beautiful sister, but Brandon's wife. I don't want to talk about Art Kathy and have her showing, right? So she is messy and she is a scammer. Let me just post that. that that's true. That is very true. So you see, she got all this wig and, and, and extensions, right? Because we know that she doesn't have that much hair. So she talks about, she talked about the Gambians wearing wigs and this, that, and the third. And look at her. Look at her. The first thing she put on was a wig when she got back to America, right? And 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 went into some fields. Talk about some, see, we selling cotton fields. I was like, how you go from B1 African unity to I'm selling cotton fields. Oh my Jesus. But this is a con artist, a con artist will do anything. So our Kathy knew that Brandon was legit. This place right here is in Macon, Georgia. Y'all, Tay-Tay has been doing her, her research, okay? Now, this is in Macon, Georgia. Our Kathy noticed that Brandon had a stable income. So she, she will often ask for support. Y'all heard her say, oh, we need support. Oh, we need some port. That is language. How can I say this? Basically, she's saying, I'm broke and I'm too lazy to get a real job. So will you send me money? If not, I'm going to scam you. So she always would hit people with, oh, I need support. I need support. Lady, why you don't have a job? You're 41 with a child. I can't. So how are you in your 40s with a child and you're still out here looking for men for a meal ticket, for a meal ticket? And a place to stay, right? So, because word on the street is when they hooked up on Tinder, same night, like I said, they hooked up and she hooked on. Because instead of him paying for somewhere for her to stay, our Kathy must have moved in with Brandon George. Her last known address is in Macon, Georgia. <laughs> All right, Kathy, you going down, Peter Pan. You F with the right one, baby. Uh-huh. All right, so now let's keep going. So Brandon must have realized that our Kathy was a piece of crap, right? 
And he decides, okay, I'm going back to my fiance. He went and got back with his fiance. They got back together. 